Well, hello. Oh, hello. oh my gosh. Hi. 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 Yes. Candid camera. Yes. So, behind you <laughs> is what's oh. been happening right. for the month. There's 250 different actor parts characters. on stage, oh. characters. And then there's about a thousand pieces of costumes. Oh. So, that's everything from hat, you know, hats to shoes. Um, and what's your deadline again? Next Friday. Next Friday. Oh, goodness. And, and you've been working <laughs> on this project for how long? Uh, April 15th. April 15th. Uh, April 15th when was the official when I got the, the uh, official revised, revised, revised <laughs> script. I mean, this is at the point right now that now everything's going to get trims and buttons. So even though you see all these things and it looks like it's done, it's not we still yet. have hours wow. of work yet because they're missing all the trims and buttons on the items. What we so. call courses are really called stays in that period. Simple. Everything stayed where it was supposed to stay. <laughs> okay. Very okay. okay. And um, here's a really good picture of a red coat. Here's a good side view, boy side. And so now I'm trying to adapt the patterns that I constructed to be able to work that we can re recreate this look. Because the patterns out there don't exist. Right. These are all fabrics that I got when I went to New York. Because we, we were in New York the first week in May and went shopping and bought a whole bunch of stuff, brought it down from New York. And this is just incredible. Oh, of course. beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Colors are very time period, and the bees are a big thing. Bees, pineapples, <laughs> are okay. a big print from that period. And when you think of pineapple, you think of Williamsburg. It was a sign of welcome. Oh. Okay? Okay, I didn't know that. I don't know what bees mean. The bees were good. <laughs> right. So, this girl's getting bees, this okay? This getting bees. So, now, I sure. designed all the embroidery work, and then I had to give them all the exact how the thread color had to be and where it was, how to embroider it. And then they took that. Let's see if I can get lucky and find this one that you've got there. Here it is. And then, with a little luck, they follow my directions, even though they don't speak English. And there it is. Oh. And this they did it perfectly. Uh huh. This is what we were after was this look. And see, this is what they gave us, which is going to be incredible. It's absolutely phenomenal. There's a suit that looks like it's finished. Oh. And that's what this is going to look like when it's done. Oh, this would have been summerwear, yeah. by the way. Oh, summerwear. Yes, this is all linen. All linen. Okay. So if she would have had this in the winter, it would have been all wool. Oh. <laughs> and we're still, we still have a couple more layers yet to go. Great. <laughs> oh, man. This is exciting. I cannot find what that was why. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Straight okay. pins would have been used here. There's no buttons. There's no hooks. There's no eyes. There's no Velcro. This is the bonnet for a Quaker, and she's a she's a um, colonialist, and so I've got the wrong bonnet on. Oh. But there she is. Finished. Wow. Oh. No. You know, we're yeah, we run out of money because. Shoes, you don't understand. I mean, a shoes are expensive, but yeah. those character shoes run like $125 a piece. You've got 30 actors. Each one of them are playing different periods of time, different people. So therefore, each actor is getting three to four pairs of shoes. That's a lot of shoes. That's a huge shoe budget. It's, it's a challenge, and it's exciting. And to me... I love doing costuming. This has been really, the last three years of doing this outside the bridal arena has been a, not only a challenge, but it's been exhilarating to me. But this particular project, because of the extensive research in it, just is so exciting and it's like, it's a challenge, it's a, um, it's like, it's so, you, you feel like you have all these little brain cells going off in you that you're not only getting the history part of it, but then all of a sudden you get this idea and it inspires you to do something else with the clothing. And now that I'm almost done with what I've got on the racks, all of a sudden I go, oh, 
I could have done this instead in that period. And I'm sitting here, I can figure out how I could redo the entire show a totally different way. Because I haven't quit doing research. Mm -hmm. So it's continually becoming an amoeba and growing and changing and morphing. And, and it's been exciting. So, you know, I can't wait until July 3rd, but I'll be sad at the same time. You'll be sad? Yeah, because we'll be done. <laughs> No more research on this project. On to the next show. Right.